Hey guys, so today's video I'm going to show you how I get ready and our sponsor for today's video is Jekka Black. So as you can tell, I'm bare face right now. Um, got a little va va boom going on with the hair, but the face is needing some attention. So today I am using these products for the first time, but I'm excited to learn more about this makeup brand and to explore this with you guys and hopefully give you guys a bunch of new tips and or simple ways to do your makeup on a more daily basis. Before we get started with today's video, I'd like to give you guys a little background on Jekka Black. Jekka Black is a gender-free makeup company started by Jessica Blackler. She gave lessons to what trans women in prison as well as uh, a safe space in her studio in the UK. Jessica was inspired to create a brand that concentrated on serving an audience that normally felt overlooked. If you're unsure of what shades to use for your skin tone, Jekka Black offers a free service where you can submit a photo of your face and or your jawline in order to be matched with your perfect fit. If you're interested in learning more about today's sponsor and or about getting this service, go ahead and click on the link down in the description box below. So starting off, this is the Jekka Black Blur and Matte Primer. This primer is vegan and cruelty free and was created to cover beard stubble, texture, as well as blur skin texture and to assist with oil control. Jekka Black recommends that you use this product before the Correct and Conceal palette, which we will be using later, if you are looking to cover any beard shadow. So I have combination skin, so this kind of a primer is perfect for me. Um, I could see myself using this on the high points of my face and possibly even I have a secondary primer slash highlighter actually for uh, from them as well called the Glow Drops Highlighting Primer for Face. This is also vegan friendly and cruelty free. So I think what I have to do since I have both of them is place these around the face in a way that makes sense for my skin type. So I get oily around the T-section and then on my cheeks where I'm a bit drier, I'm gonna go ahead and use this Glow Drops Pearls. So taking just a little dollop, ooh, interesting. This product is, uh, transparent, completely see-through. So now that the matte one's laid down, I'm going to take the glow drops and place just a little bit on the rest of the face, just making sure we prime everywhere on the face. The next product I want to use is going to be this Correct and Conceal palette in the color Medium 2.0. This was the first product that Jekka Black ever released. This product features two creamy products, a color corrector and a concealer. And it was formulated to cover stubborn beard shadows and under eye darkness. So I don't struggle too hard with either of those things, but I will be applying these to those areas to demonstrate how it performs under the rest of the products. And I believe they gave me this shade as a way for me to use this as an alternative to foundation, which they say it's buildable. So this concealer is perfect for that kind of application. Uh, the recommended use is to layer it on with a beauty blending sponge. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a concealer brush like this and we're going to go into the color corrector first. So we take a little bit of this and I'm just going to apply it over the parts of the chin and the upper lip. So taking a beauty blender, I am going to just buff this all in. So this color corrector is a lot softer than I expected, which to be honest with you, will make it much easier to cover with the concealer in a minute here. So taking a new concealer brush, I'm gonna go into this concealer shade and let's hope that this is the right color for me. Ooh, actually, this is also much lighter than it appears in the pan. So again, taking the beauty sponge, Let's just dab this all over. So 
So they did say that this is buildable. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a second coat of this over that same area. So now, just for kicks, I'm going to go into this concealer with the beauty sponge, like so. And let's just see how it applies right off the sponge. So if I'm gonna take this and just make sure that I hit the jawline and the neck a bit here. So again, taking the beauty sponge, let's go into this concealer again and just pack it on to the rest of the face. So that was just the first shade. They also sent me the Sculpt and Soften palette in the color white, which offers a, another duo of creams. There's a Sculpt and a Soften, which are a bronzer and a highlighting concealer. The skin-like formula is easy to blend and creates a natural finish. The palette also includes a free 34-page guide on how to contour. This booklet, honestly, is probably one of my favorite things. They actually give you demonstrations and logic for why you should contour a certain way or highlight a certain way to help bring out your eyes, soften your jawline, soften your chin. So the first thing that they recommend in the book is that you take soften with a thin line down the bridge of the nose. So we're gonna go right between the brow and down the bridge and then create an exclamation point. So after we get a good run of product down the top of the nose, we go point here to create a little highlight. So the next thing that I wanna do with this is attempt to highlight the under eyes. So I actually have a second beauty blender here that I can use specifically for the contour. So I'm going to go straight into the contour. What we want to do is just really concentrate this first go on where we want the product to set. So I always like to take the product right on the jawline, kind of tapering it under the chin to help feminize my face. And then also on the forehead. If you feel like you still have too much product, use the butt of the blender and just use that to help smush everything more in together. So now that all of the creams are on, I'm going to quickly go off screen and just powder my face with my favorite translucent powder. So the next thing, if you feel like this isn't enough, for your base, you can go ahead and use your favorite bronzer and blush to just add to this look as well as set the creams further. Before I go into the next product, I'm gonna quickly just take a blending brush and a little bit of brown eyeshadow and just pop it into my crease. In an effort to keep this video simple and the makeup tips also very simple, I recommend that you use some sort of a medium or dark tone brown, whatever complements your hair color and take just a liner brush and just go ahead and dip into those eyeshadows and just use them to fill in your brow. Honestly, I find myself doing this even though I do have other brow products. I just like how simple and natural this kind of finish looks in my brows. Literally took like 15 seconds. So before I move on from the eyes, I'm also gonna take just a light brown right under the eye. So this next product is the Play Pot in the color Gold Touch. So these were created to help simplify the makeup process for individuals that are either new to makeup or just want something fast and easy to do in the mornings. This is made to use with your fingers as well to go over the eye as well as on the cheeks and possibly even the lip if you feel so inclined to. So today I'm gonna to use this product over my lids, but I do have a little bit of fingernails that kind of make it hard for me to be precise when packing it in. So I will be using a brush for this. So this brush is one of my favorites. It's a concealer brush. I've used this a lot today and we're gonna use it again. So just taking a few swipes of this product, I'm going to pack this in right over the lid. I want, oh, oh, okay, hi. This is beautiful. So I'm gonna start in the center and get it all the way up to that crease 
and then work it into the inner corner. Okay, Jacka Black, I love this. You really did this. So now I'm gonna also take a little bit more of this product and pop this down here onto that lower lash. I <laughs> love this. I am going to now take it on my finger. I, I'm telling you guys, these nails get in the way. So I'm gonna just take this and we're gonna see if we can just gently apply it to the cheekbone. Oh, wow. I love how playful and fun this is. I think that's exactly why they call it a play pot is that you get to have so much fun with this and just go ham. Lastly, I'm going to be using Jekka Black's Long Lasting Lipstick in the color Queen. I love this name, you guys. This coral color is beautiful. These lipsticks are matte and made to last all day. The product is available in other shades such as pink, nude, and red, and hopefully more colors in the near future. So with that being said, this is the finished look. Now let's take out the clips, let's brush the hair forward, and let's just give this a final look. So I love how today's look turned out. What do you guys think? Leave your comments down below. And if you haven't already, go check out Jekka Black at the link down in the description box below. Thank you again, Jekka Black, for sponsoring today's video and for encouraging me to explore new makeup as well as show off simpler ways to achieve an everyday look. I'm proud of the brand that they have created and I look forward to seeing what more they have to offer in the near future. If you haven't subscribed, please do so now. Hit that red button and ring the bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. And make sure you guys go and follow me on social media. Instagram is my favorite, so maybe go give it a check out. And until next time, be safe. I love you all and goodbye. <laughs>is not made for the studio because mine accidentally broke so if you see this big huge picture mirror in frame please ignore